All right, so over the past week or so, I've had quite a few people ask me about how I made those super cool rainbow subtitles in my BFB video. So today I'm gonna to show you how I did that step-by-step step and how to upload the finished result to YouTube. So in order to do this, you need two different programs. Most importantly, you need one called Aegisub, and then you need another one called YT Sub Converter in order to convert the finished result to the correct format. And so I'll provide the links to both of those in the description. So once you get both of these programs installed, first you wanna open up Aegisub, and I'm going to show you the method that I personally find the most efficient. So first off, what you wanna do is you wanna go up here to video and click open video. So once you have the video open, you'll notice that it's previewed in this section over here. So what you want to do is you're going to want to create your first subtitle instance. So this over here is your subtitle editor. This right here, this edit button allows you to edit the default style. I will get into how you actually modify different styles later on, but for now we're just going to leave this on the default style. So what I'm going to do first off is I'm going to once again go over here and click edit, and I'm going to change the font to make it larger because by default it's only 20 so i'm going to make it about 60 or so just to make it more readable and i'm also going to bold it you can choose a variety of different fonts you can choose any font you like um, or that's supported on youtube i'm just going to do Arial. you can even change the alignment so for example if i wanted the subtitle to appear on like the bottom left hand of the screen instead of in the middle you can change it to this if you want it to appear on the top right you can change it to this etc and i'm going to click apply and okay and I'm gonna type in my first instance of text. So I'm just going to type in hi, and you'll notice that it appears down here. So what you wanna do is to create each instance of a subtitle, you're going to want to play back this video frame by frame by using the arrow keys. So I'm right now I'm pressing the right arrow key and I'm going to change this to a different subtitle once there's a scene change. So I'm just gonna change this text to be like, this is a test. And starting in the next scene, so when it switches over to uh, Pencil, I want this subtitle to change to something different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the last frame of this, and I'm going to press Control 4. Or you can press this button up here, set end of selected subtitles to current video frame, but I personally find it easier to just press Control 4. And so after that, you just want to go back to this text box and press Enter and this will create a new instance. So once I start at the next frame, this is a brand new subtitle. And so I'm going to type in this, this is a test two. So now you'll notice when I play back the video. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Same. It, it has two different instances of subtitle text. So I'm once again going to do this for a third scene. I'm going to go to the last frame of this scene and I'm going to press control four. And you'll notice that this timestamp right here changes when you change that. So for example, if I go a bit further and I press control four, you'll notice that this end timestamp changes. I'm gonna undo that so that it goes back to the way it was before. So once again, I'm going to go to this, the, next, the first frame of the next set of subtitles and I'm going to click on the text box and press enter and type in this is a test three. So now, here's what we have. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Same. I said. So this is generally how to create the subtitles. It's pretty much the same thing for the whole rest of the video. So each time a new sentence begins, all you want to do is just press control four and then click on this text box and then press enter to create a new subtitle. You get the idea. And you do that for the entire rest of the video. Now I'm going to show you how to add styles to your text. So what you want to do is you want to go up to this flyout here that says subtitle and click on styles manager. So I'm going to modify this first subtitle right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this default style right here and click copy. And then I'm just going to name this match. So then what you want to do is you want to go over here to primary. You can modify any of these colors right here. I'm going to go over here to primary, click on it and just choose any color. So I'm going to use the eyedropper. The eyedropper doesn't really work very well for me. Um, it might for you, but personally for me it doesn't. So I'm just going to manually choose a color and make it like orangey, kind of like that. And then click OK. And then I'm just, once again, I'm just gonna name it Match and then click Apply and OK. You'll notice that the style itself is not applied yet. I will get to that in a bit, but I'm going to go to the next style. So Pencil. And I'm going to once again click on the style, click copy, and I'm just going to name it pencil. I'm going to click on the primary color and I'm going to change it 
to, I don't know, let's do like that color. I'm gonna click okay, and then apply, and then okay. And then you wanna do this for every single time you want a different style. And I, I would recommend keeping the default style in place and not modifying that just in case there's other text from like other speakers and you just don't really want to do any style modifications. Keep the default style in place because the default style is applied to every single instance of text that you create. It only changes the style if you set it to a different style. So once again, I'm gonna do this one more time with flower. I'm going to copy this style. I'm gonna name it flower. I'm gonna set the primary color to like a pinkish color. Apply, okay. So now we have our three styles for the three respective subtitles. I'm going to now click close. So now I'm going to select my first subtitle right here and I'm going to go up here to where it says default. This is the style that is chosen for this current subtitle. I'm going to click on this flyout and change it to the respective one, so in this case, match. And you'll notice that now the text changed color. I'm going to go to the next style, pencil. I'm going to once again click on this subtitle, the one that corresponds to pencil. Click on this flyout right here and then choose pencil. And there we go. Then once again I'm going to go to the flower segment, I'm going to click on the subtitle and I'm going to click on this flyout and then choose flower. Now, when you play it, you'll notice that all three of the text instances are colored. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Same. Ice. Now, once you are done with your subtitles, all you want to do is you want to go up here to File, Save Subtitles As, and then save this anywhere. You, you can save this anywhere, so I'm just going to save it to my documents. I'm going to save it as Subtitle Test and then press save. Now we're not finished quite yet because currently the subtitles are not in a format that YouTube would accept. So this is where YT Subconverter comes into play. So now you're gonna wanna open up YT Subconverter, press on these three dots right here, and I'm just going to open my file, so subtitle test, and I'm going to press convert. And then it successfully creates the new subtitle file that is accepted by YouTube. Now I'm going to show you how to upload the finished subtitle file to YouTube. Once you have your video uploaded to YouTube, you're going to want to go into YouTube Studio, click on the video, scroll down on the left hand side here to subtitles, and right here I, it should either have like an English auto set as a video language. If you don't have a language already set for your channel, just click add language and choose your respective language. So in my case it's English United States. So what you want to do is once you have the language added, you want to go over here to subtitles, click add, and then you want to go to upload file, choose with timing, continue, and then choose your subtitle file in the YTT format. So now you should have your subtitles completely imported into the video. You'll notice that the video preview right here is a bit messed up. In the actual video, this should appear just fine. It only appears like this in the YouTube Studio preview. Once you've got the subtitles imported, just click Publish. Now when I watch the video on YouTube and enable the closed captions, it should reflect the design changes. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Same. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you've learned how to make some super cool colored subtitles for your videos. And yeah, thanks for watching.